Are you thinking about having a vasectomy? Well then stick around because in this video I'm going to tell you everything you need to know. Hi guys, I'm Dr. Lane from Adelaide, South Australia, here to answer all your questions about men's health and reproductive medicine. Now, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit notifications uh, to stay up to date with all my new content. So I have a lot of guys asking about vasectomy. What is it? How painful is it? Can it be reversed? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna explain the vasectomy procedure in general. Then I'm gonna look at the various different methods uh, that exist, including the traditional scalpel and the no scalpel method. And then finally, I'll talk a little bit about complications. Okay, so what is a vasectomy and how does the procedure work? All right, take a look at this diagram, which is the male reproductive system. You have the testes down here, which is where sperm's made. And when sperm has matured, it has to swim for a bit before it becomes part of the semen. Now, important point, semen and sperm are two different things. Semen is the white fluid that comes out of the penis during an ejaculation. And more than 95% of semen is made in these two little glands, which are called the seminal vesicles. Sperm mixes into the semen once it's swum all the way from the testes along these two tubes. So what are these tubes called? The vas deferens. And what is a vasectomy? The surgical removal or division of the vas deferens on each side, stopping the sperm from being able to travel up the vas deferens and mix into the semen. If you have no sperm in your semen, you can't get somebody pregnant. Now there is more than one way to perform a vasectomy. And the traditional method was to make an incision on each side of the scrotum, which was up to two centimeters long. And then the doctor performing the procedure would be able to find the vas, cut it, and tie it off on both sides. But over the last 30 years or so, the vasectomy procedure has really evolved. And now we can actually do it without even needing a scalpel. This is called the no scalpel method. So in this method, rather than making two incisions, we use special forceps to make a small puncture in the center of the scrotum, and then you can pull a small amount of the vas deferens out through this puncture site to perform the rest of the vasectomy procedure. So the benefit of the no scalpel method is it's much less invasive. And as a result, the risk of complications, including bleeding, infection, and pain are greatly reduced. In fact, the no scalpel method is now the preferred method of performing vasectomy in many countries around the world. And it's typically what I recommend to my patients. So can a vasectomy be reversed? Very important question. And I really wanna emphasize that if you're considering having a vasectomy, you should consider it to be permanent. Can it be reversed? Sometimes, but not all the time. And even if it can be reversed, it could be very expensive. So my advice, don't have a vasectomy unless you're absolutely sure. And what about complications? Now, obviously you need to talk to the doctor who's performing the procedure to get some specific advice. But in general, the complications to be aware of are bleeding, infection, pain, and failure. Why do vasectomies fail at all? Well, actually the most common reason for failure is not because the vasectomy doesn't work, but because the person doesn't wait for long enough after the procedure before having unprotected sex. You see, if we cut the vas deferens, yeah, we're stopping future sperm from getting through, but there will still be millions of viable sperm stored all the way up to the seminal vesicles. And these can take up to four months or even longer to completely clear. So you should always use alternative contraception for at least 16 weeks following a vasectomy and then perform Form a semen test to make sure that there is no sperm in the semen. Once you get a clearance from your doctor to say there is no sperm seen in the ejaculate, then you can consider the vasectomy a success and stop using other contraception. Now the risk of other complications like bleeding and infection can be reduced by taking it easy for a couple of weeks after a vasectomy. Often people who have a vasectomy on a Friday can go back to work say on the Monday um, and just do light duties like office work. And there you have it, that is vasectomy in a nutshell. You can check out some of my other videos by clicking the link on your screen right now. Thanks for watching guys, stay healthy and see you soon.